Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby booties for a baby girl between three and six months old. They're very easy to make. They're part of this baby set that I already showed you. I showed you how to make the little dress and the little bonnet. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you links to these two tutorials, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so I hope you like it, and without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this baby four ply yarn. I'm using this brand, it's called Super Soft Baby Four Ply James Seabrett. Okay, to begin, I have 17 chains into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. I'm going to make a double crochet, but I'm only going to go through one of the loops, like this. This is because when we come back around, we're going to make double crochets here along the other side. So here, we're going to work one double crochet on each one of the chains, except for the last chain, like this. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we're going to do into this last chain. Okay, I'm here at the end, I still have one last chain. I have 14 double crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning. Now, into this last chain, what we're going to do are seven double crochets. So insert your hook into this last chain and make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Okay, now I'm going to pull this here so that this hole here closes. And now what we're going to do is along this other side of the chain, we're going to work these 14 double crochets. So beginning into this next stitch right there, make your first double crochet, then continue along and make these 14 double crochets. I will meet you right about here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I finished making these 14 double crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, into this last chain right here, this is actually the first chain out of the two that we left here at the beginning. So right there, insert your hook and make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now on top of the first double crochet right here, join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this first row with a total of 42 double crochets. So we have 14, 14 plus seven plus seven, and that's 42 double crochets. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain two, and here what we're going to do is, into the same stitch here, we're going to make a double crochet. A double crochet on top of the next, double crochet on top of the next, and so on. Here, we're going to make these 14 double crochets, so I will meet you here. I finished making these 14 double crochets, not including the two chains. So now what we're going to do here into the next seven double crochets is two double crochets into the same stitch. So beginning into this first double crochet out of the seven, you're going to make two double crochets. That's two into the next, three and four, into the next, five and six, into the next seven and eight, into the next nine and ten, into the next eleven and twelve, into the next thirteen and fourteen. Okay, so we have fourteen double crochets here. 
let me see, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now here we're going to continue and work these 14 double crochets, so I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I made these 14 double crochets now along this other side, and I have 7 double crochets left. Here we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. We're going to make two double crochets into each one of these double crochets. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the second row. Now in this row we have 14 along this side here, 14 along this side, then we have 14 and 14, so that's 56 double crochets all around. Now for the third row we're going to chain one and here what we're going to do are half double crochets in between each one of the double crochets. So beginning here between these first two you're going to go in and make your first half double crochet. Between the next two a half double crochet, between the next two a half double crochet and so on. Here, this is all we're going to do all around, and we should end with a total of 56 half double crochets. So continue like this, just making one half double crochet between each one of the double crochets like this all the way around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row, we're going to go into this last space here and work our last half half double crochet. Now to finish go on top of the first half double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row with a total of 56 half double crochets. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut my yarn like this and I'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop like this and this part here is done. Now what I'm going to do here, oh let me measure it for you. It measures about 12 centimeters, which is about um, almost five inches, so 4.75 inches. Okay, so here, what I did is I folded this in half like this, and I just put stitch markers here on both ends. And then I counted my stitches, so I should have 28 stitches along this side and 28 stitches along this side, since we have a total of 56 stitches. So now here, we're going to go to this end right here, and we're going to do this with the same color. You can change colors if you like. I'm going to use the same yarn. So this baby four ply yarn. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to work front post half double crochets along the very edge here. So let me show you how we're going to do them. So I'm going to insert my hook right here into this stitch. Um, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches from where we finished. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, oops, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make your first front post half double crochet, like this. Now into the next, like this, front post, half double crochet, into the next, front post, half double crochet, and this is all I'm going to do all around, just like this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have the two chains. The two chains never count as a stitch, so we're not going to do anything there. We're going to jump to the next half double crochet and work our eighth front post half double crochet. So from here on, this is all we're going to do all around. So continue like this and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. We're going to start counting rows. So this is our first row. Now, to finish this first row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, make sure that this slip stitch that we just did is nice and loose. Um, because in the next row, we're going to do something in this stitch here. So this is how I finished this first row with a total of 56 stitches. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. And into this first stitch right here, this is a slip stitch, insert your hook there and make a double crochet. Now into the next half double crochet, this one here, not this one because this one already has the double crochet on top. So this next one right there, you're going to work a front post double crochet on top of the next you're going to make a double crochet front post double crochet into the next double crochet on top of the next front post double crochet into the next and so on for this row this is how you're going to continue you're just going to alternate between a double crochet and a front post double crochet continue all around I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row now to finish go on top of the first stitch which is a double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the second row now for the third row chain two and here we're going to look at the first stitch this stitch here is a double crochet and the next is a front post double crochet all of the, the double crochets in this row we're going to work into front post double crochets and all the front post double crochets from the previous row you're going to make a double crochet on top so this first one here we're going to work a front post double crochet on top of the next make a double crochet the next one front post double crochet next one double crochet on top next one front post double crochet and so on Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of the third row now to finish go on top of the first stitch here and join with a slip stitch And this is how we finish the third row with 56 stitches all around now in the fourth row We're going to start reducing the front of the baby shoe. So what I have here is between this last stitch that I did and the stitch marker there's 16 stitches and between this first stitch and the stitch marker there's 16 stitches and here in the front there's 24 stitches so we have 24 16 plus 16 that's 56 stitches now here for the fourth row we're going to chain two and here we're going to look at the first stitch this one is a front post double crochet so now into this stitch we're going to do a double crochet on top and then all the double crochets we're going to work into front post double crochets and all the double crochets that are front posts we're going to make a double crochet on top so front post double crochet double crochet continue like this until you have these 16 stitches and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these 16 stitches here. Now we have the next 24 stitches here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work stitch reduction. So yarn over on top of this front post double crochet, which is the next stitch, insert your hook, take two loops off, two loops on the hook, yarn over. This next stitch here, we're going to work into a front post double crochet, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. So here's our first stitch reduction again yarn over on top of this next stitch we're going to make a double crochet but we're not going to close it yarn over into the next stitch we're going to work a front post double crochet where we have three loops now close that's two on top of the next make a double crochet don't close leave two loops yarn over go into the next work a front post double crochet three loops on the hook close that's three this is how I'm going to continue until I have 12. That's four, five, six, seven, eight nine 
9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have 12 stitches here now. Now, here we're going to finish these last 16 stitches in the same way we did here on this other side. So this next stitch, we're going to make a double crochet on top, then front post double crochet, then double crochet, and front post double crochet. Continue along like this, and I'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch. In this case is a double crochet, so join there with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the fourth row. Now in this fourth row, we have 16 stitches plus 16 stitches plus 12. So that's a total of 44 stitches. Now I've already moved my stitch markers for my next row, row five. So here we're going to work 14 stitches and then 14 stitches. So to do this, fifth row we're going to chain two and this first stitch here we're going to work into a front post double crochet then double crochet on top then front post double crochet double crochet on top and then front post double crochet and so on we're going to work these 14 stitches so I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these 14 stitches, so now what we're going to do here is we're also going to reduce this a bit further. So into this next stitch, after the stitch marker, we're going to work a front post double crochet, but we're not going to close it. We're going to leave two loops, then yarn over, and then on top of the front post double crochet, we're going to make a double crochet, take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close. Now into these next stitches we have the stitch reductions we did on the previous row. Each one of these stitches has two stitches in one. It has the double crochet and it has the front post double crochet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to yarn over and the double crochet we're going to work into a front post double crochet where we take two loops off but we leave two loops then we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the next stitch right on top we're going to make a double crochet where we close both stitches and here's our second stitch reduction again we're going to yarn over go to the next stitch this one here and work a front post double crochet don't close it leave two loops yarn over then go into the next stitch right on top work a double crochet three loops in the hook close that's three into the next same thing front post double crochet don't close yarn over on top of the next make a double crochet where we close both stitches so that's let's see one two three four and this is how I'm going to continue from here on that's five six Seven. And now we have the two stitches here, just like we did here after the stitch marker. So this first stitch here is a double crochet, so we're going to work a front post double crochet. Don't close it, leave two loops. And then on top of the front post double crochet, make a double crochet where we close all three loops. And this is how we finish this part here. And that's what it looks like. Now here we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches. And here we're just going to continue along and finish these next 14 stitches. So the stitch that follows is a front post double crochet, then double crochet on top, front post double crochet, and so on. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row here. I just finished by joining to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Now in the sixth row we have 14 plus 14 plus 8 so we have a total of 36 stitches so now for the sixth row what we're going to do is I've moved my stitch marker so in this row we're going to make 12 stitches and then 12 stitches here for this other side so to do this we're going to chain two and this first stitch here right on top we're going to make a double crochet 
then front post double crochet, then double crochet, and so on. Continue and finish these 12 stitches, and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 12 stitches here, so here I'm going to remove my stitch marker because I don't need it anymore. So now here, I'm going to chain 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 chains. Now, this strap here is going to be on the right, so this baby booty is for the right foot. Now, after I finish doing this part, I'm going to show you what you need to do for the left foot. Now here, I have the 16 chain, so into the sixth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to make a double crochet. And I'm going to continue like this, making double crochets until I have a total of 11 double crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 11 double crochets. So now here, what we're going to do is, we have this double crochet right here, right there. I am going to insert my hook right there and make a double crochet, so that's 12. And then inside this space right here, make my 13th double crochet. Now we're going to skip this front post double crochet and on top of the double crochet, which is this next stitch right there, I'm going to make a single crochet. And here's the strap to the right foot. Okay, like I said, after I do this, I'm going to show you what you need to do for the left foot. Okay, so here I have my first single crochet, and here I'm going to work single crochets until I come to the next stitch marker. So there's one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, single crochets, and then we have our stitch marker now the next stitch here is a front post double crochet, so right on top you're going to make a double crochet, then front post double crochet, then double crochet on top, and so on. Continue and finish these last 12 stitches and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I just joined here to the beginning with a slip stitch and this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do next is an optional row. I'm just going to make um, slip stitches and chains so that this part here looks a lot nicer. You can do single crochets if you like, but I'm going to do this. So chain one into this first stitch, make a slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, and so on. This is all I'm going to do all around for this row, including here the strap. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this and then I'll show you how we're going to transition into the, the strap here. Okay, now this is the last stitch right there, so insert your hook there and make your slip stitch. Now here, don't chain and go directly into this first stitch right here and make a slip stitch, chain one. You're going to do the exact same thing we did here where you don't chain here on this other end. Um, the point is so that it looks nice there. And then continue along with the same thing. Slip stitch, chain one, slip stitch, chain one. And here, when you come to this um, space where we have these five chains, you're just going to do five stitches there and then continue along this side and all around. So continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you our finished baby booty. 
Now here, I just finished the fifth row and I have a total of 36 stitches all around. I have 14 plus 14 plus eight. So that's 36 stitches. Now here, I'm going to show you how you're going to make the strap on the left side for the left foot. I already showed you um, how to make it for the right foot. So here, I'm going to show you what you need to do uh, for the left foot. Here, this is going to be the sixth row. So you're going to chain two and this stitch here right on top we're going to make a double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then double crochet and so on here you're going to work a total of 12 stitches so i'll meet you right about here to show you um, how we're going to work this part here and then on this side we're going to make the strap so i'll meet you back then okay i finished making these 12 stitches here now i'm going to remove the stitch marker because it's on the way here and now into the next 11 stitches we're going to make single crochet so beginning here i'm going to make a single crochet that's one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, 11. Okay, now I have one stitch here left before the stitch marker. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain 16. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now into the sixth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to make a double crochet. And now here I'm going to work a total of 11 double crochets, so I'll meet you right about here, right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 11 double crochets and now I'm going to make one more. I'm going to make it right here into this very corner stitch right there and I'm going to make my 12th double crochet now we have the stitch this one here that's right before the stitch marker and, and I'm actually going to remove the stitch marker because it's on the way so I'm going to skip this stitch and right here I'm going to make a single crochet and here's the strap to the left foot and there it is now from here on, you're just going to finish these next 11 stitches. On this side, you're going to have 11 stitches, not 12 like we had here on this side. The reason is because on the other side, it was easier because we were doing the double crochets and then we came down to do the single crochets. Here, it's a bit uh, difficult because if I do a double crochet, this part here is going to be higher and it doesn't look as nice. So that's why I'm going to do a single crochet here on top of this front post double crochet and I think it looks okay. So that's why here you're only going to finish with these 11 stitches. So from here on is exactly the same thing that I showed you on the right foot. So continue like this and finish this row and then continue on with the row that I showed you here all around. So um, this part here is done. Okay, so here are my baby booties. I finished making this last row here. All I did was join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then I just hit my ends. And I added a little button here to the side. I used these nine millimeter buttons. There they are. And then these are pre-made flowers that I bought from Joann's like this. You can use um, maybe a little bow or a little button. That would be up to you how you want to um, accessorize your baby booty. So our baby booties are done and this is what they look like. So this here is the right side, this one here, and this is the left side. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.